Jack, our Jeff Schmidt game of the week featured Wayne against Northmont. This game with all sorts of impact as far as league championship is concerned, as far as the computer rankings for the playoffs. It's all coming down to the final weeks of the season. Talk about parity. Commissioner Eric Sparr has to be smiling. The G-Walk Central has plenty of it. A good old good one at Good Samaritan Stadium as captains from both teams exchange pleasantries in the first quarter. Northmont forced to punt, but the kick is going to be fumbled. And the ball recovered by the T-Bolts. Bobby Saul, the turnover, turns into points. Sophomore quarterback Cameron Belton connects with Jamal Trammell on the slant for a nice pickup over the middle. Then a few plays later, Belton going to keep it himself, and Northmont jumps out to the early 7-0 lead, much to the delight of the home team fans. Later in the first, Belton hits his tight end Troy Mangan, but somehow... After the catch, Wayne's Anthony Hunter rips the ball out of his hands and the play turns out to be a Wayne interception. The Warriors would capitalize on the miscue. A 25-yard field goal by Marshall Newsom to begin the second quarter. It's a 10-7 ball game. In the second quarter, Braxton Miller getting to work. Here Miller hits Marshall Peterson. The junior split end makes a nice run after the catch before he's finally knocked out of bounds. The drive ends when Miller going to keep it himself and Take it around the left side for a 15-yard touchdown. More bad luck for the Thunderbolts. Coming up here, the ball is going to be fumbled again. A lot of turnovers in this game. And the Warriors' big defensive lineman, Cameron Walker, falls on it. Wayne will make the most of their good fortune. Braxton Miller going to hit Trey Hammond Scott, the senior, diving for the end zone, but comes up just short. No worries, a couple plays later, Miller on the QB keeper once again for his second score of the night. Wayne's Jay Minton had to be pleased that his visiting Warriors were up 17-7 at halftime. In the third quarter, it's fourth and goal on the one and a half. This time, Braxton Miller going to be stopped in his tracks by the T-Bolts defense. Northmont's Lance Schneider hoping for a momentum swing. Not going to happen, though. Wayne senior linebacker Sean Milliner delivering the sack of Cameron Belton. Then a little later, watch Milliner as he bats down the Belton pass. Milliner having a good night for the Warriors. Here's the final score of the evening. Braxton Miller using his arm this time, delivering a perfect pass to the end zone for Marshall Peterson. Let's put it up in lights. Wayne 24, Northmont 7. The loss might have taken the T-Bolts out of playoff contention, but perhaps not out of a league title. Steve Van Gorder from Jeff Schmidt wins again. How does he do it? Our thanks to <laughs> Northmont Athletic Director Robin Spiller and all the great folks out in Clayton for hosting our tailgate party.